Hi, Jamie with Inward Growth Counseling here today. And today I want to actually follow up on uh, a video that I made um, recently called The Dangers of Effective Disputing. And so when we talk about disputation, disputation is essentially an argument. And when we think about disputation in the framework of rational emotive behavior therapy, RABT, disputation is not an argument, though, against or um, toward another person, but really toward ourself and our irrational beliefs. And if you're unclear about those irrational beliefs, um, I've got a whole video about that, and feel free to check that out. Um, but um, I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, simply to say that when we hold the irrational beliefs, those are the things that create really the problems in our lives and has, um, you know, ineffective emotional experiences, but also ineffective behaviors be present in our life. And so that's why disputation is so important is because consider that those irrational beliefs are things that we've held on to for a very long time. And sometimes we even relate to them like they really are, like the world is really that way, other people are really that way, or I really am that way. Um, and so when we're disputing, consider that when you're disputing, you really want to go for it. And when I say go for it, like go for it like your life depends on it. And consider that it really does. Like your life does depend on it. Your life depends on being able to get to the other side and create an effective new belief, which we're not going to cover right now. Um, but consider that disputation is that argument against in such a way that it really breaks up that way of thinking. So, you know, a very simple thing to say to ourselves is, well, but why is that true? And then, you know, we'll come up with another reason about why that's true, why we believe that should or must or have to about ourselves. And then you can ask yourself again, well, but why is that true? And you can keep asking yourself that until something starts to happen. And what that is, is that you really find if you're doing this with vigor, and I mean real vigor, um, like your life depends on it, you'll find that you reach a point where when you say, but why is that true? You'll know you got there because you'll have run out of reasons, run out of the excuses that we use to support our irrational belief. So that's one way. Another way that I found to be really effective and I use with clients of all ages is, well, if I asked 100 people, what would they say? Would they say that that's actually true, that you should, must, or have to be that way, or others should, must, or have to be that way, or whatnot? So if I asked 100 people, what would they say? Another effective way that I found is, well, if I ask your best friends, would they say that that's really true about you or about others or about the world and your should, must, or have to? Now, those are very easy, simple ways to dispute and deal with and go to work on our irrational beliefs. So those are some very simple ways to go about that. If you like this video or you find it helpful, um, please feel free to like it and uh, feel free to subscribe. And I will be following this video up with another um, video about disputation, and then we'll get into talking about um, effective new beliefs. So uh, hope all is well here in the month of February uh, for all of you out there. And thanks for watching.